Hi, I'm Marc Breton. I'm an associate professor at the Center for Diabetes Technology at the University of Virginia. And I'm here at the ski camp in Breckenridge, Colorado with the Barbara Davis Center because I'm one of the engineers who designed the artificial pancreas system. And so what I was particularly responsible for was to figure out how we dose insulin, what algorithm uh, uh, we implement in the cell phone that decides every five minutes what dose of insulin needs to be injected. So one of the big issues we're having with these algorithms is that, of course, insulin, once you inject it, takes a little while to get into the bloodstream and takes even longer to start acting. So you're not really treating the glucose that exists right now, you're really treating the glucose that is half an hour or 45 minutes from now. And so to do this, what we use is mathematical models of how insulin and glucose interact. And these mathematical models allow us to make prediction in the future uh, as to what glucose will be. And that's the number that we treat. Now, uh, of course, the algorithm is, is, is slightly complicated, but it has three main components. I have one component that's called HMS. That's the hyperglycemia mitigation. And so that component will give something that looks very much like correction boluses but that you're used to in pump therapy. Uh, these boluses can occur about every hour uh, and they're not the full correction dose, they're a fraction of the correction dose. And then on top of that we have uh, something we call the basal rate modulator. And the basal rate modulator is a, a module that will increase the basal rate when the system feel that like the insulin on board is not enough. So remember the insulin on board is however insulin you have in your body that hasn't acted yet. And we track that quantity and when we think it's not enough, we supplement it. And that's the uh, element that is most active at night. So that's what achieves the good control at night. And finally, we have uh, the safety supervision system. And that's basically to avoid hypoglycemia. So again, we use that prediction, and when that prediction dips too low, we start reducing insulin. It's about a, a below 112.5, but it can be modified, especially this week when there is exercise, and we have an exercise mode, and in that case, it's 140. Uh, by about uh, between 80 and 100 in the prediction, uh, you will not have insulin anymore. It's, it will act like a shutoff. So these three modules act in concert and try to achieve good glucose control. Now remember what we're using are called hybrid systems, so it works best when the, uh, the users and the children here are announcing their meals and so they still have to do that. And then uh, on top of all of that, uh, we have a remote monitoring system that allows us to monitor every single child. So not only the ones with an artificial pancreas, but also the ones that were on control therapy, just on pump therapy and that allows us to, of course, keep all the patients safe. Thanks.